with uh, Mark Izushima from Ulvac. Uh, Hi. And so, uh, Thank Mark, you. tell us a little bit about Ulvac and, and what you guys are doing here. Yeah, um, we're a, a comprehensive vacuum equipment manufacturer, and we supply equipment for, uh, for example, tin film battery uh, manufacturers or man, uh, MEMS uh, areas. So what we do is that um, we supply R&D equipment, also mass pilot line, mass production equipment that enable the IoT world, which require actually a vacuum technology. It's kind of underneath all the technology for, you know, the uh, major players. Um, we're here to introduce a new type of technologies that uh, we think that will be um, really dominant in the IoT world. For example, mm -hmm. like this thin film battery, we had a lot of inquiries in this area. Yeah. So it's called a solid state thin film lithium, uh, lithium battery. It's, um, it's very thin and it's flexible and right. it lasts, uh, cycle time is very long. And these kind of you know, batteries can be um, uh, used, for example, in wearable type of devices, yeah. uh, cars. Uh, that's you no know, everything is trying to everybody's trying to do here in the IoT world. Okay. Mems, everybody has you know, for example, mobile phones, smartphones, and all that, correct? Yeah. And Mems is actually a very big field. Everybody is excited, and yes. when once the IoT field um, uh, uh, area comes in. MEMS, there will be so much devices of MEMS yeah. into that. But the next generation MEMS, we think that require a new technology that is integrated with an LSI, which is called a CMOS. Mm -hmm. And uh, to do that, it, it requires a low temperature process, which we have uh, produced uh, using a very unique um, uh, um, uh, how do you call it? Um, material that is called PZT, so we have a uniqueness there. But um, all these related devices underneath, you know, the smartphones and the smart cards and also the wearable devices require vacuum technology. That's the reason why we're here, to promote these kind of equipments that, you know, can help everybody's uh, lives and devices and all that. So, so yeah. did you say solid state battery? Yeah, that's so, right. So uh, how far is that in the future? Well, How actually, it's already in mass production. Some of the um, big players uh, in the world is already in mass production level. For example, these type of equipment is the substrate size, or we, what we call the tray size, is almost one meter by one meter large. So it's. So you are making these now? Well, we don't manufacture the tin-tone batteries. We supply the equipment to manufacture those areas. So you can see that we already installed the equipment and it's already in mass production level. So maybe it's not in the field that much, but once these equipment starts to really get into mass production and to be manufacturers, um, a lot of these devices we think that will install these solid-state um, batteries. How's the capacity and uh, uh, compared to regular batteries? Well, it's... Um, uh, the the applications of these you know uh, thin film batteries is a little bit um, uh, it, it, it's not really comparable with the current batteries because um, for example um, uh, the the cards the smart cards that you're trying to use compared with you know well, what type of batteries are you trying to compare with is a little bit different. Um, for a real good application example is for medical purposes. Uh, if you're gonna have, these are rechargeable, mm -hmm. so it's a, a little bit different. It's rechargeable and it doesn't wear off that much. Mm -hmm. So every time you use a battery, right, maybe a thousand, a hundred times you use it. You don't even use a hundred times, maybe. Uh, Fifty times, hundred times you use it and it wears down the battery life, right? But this thing doesn't wear off. We, we cycle um, test about a thousand times and it doesn't wear off five percent. So these kind of the areas when you do the medical, applications once you insert it with the device you actually don't need to recharge it anymore I mean you need to recharge it but if you combine it with the energy harvesting the battery life will last very long so you still need the combination of devices but the battery area this is the sensor area and also if you have the energy harvesting area that combination of the devices is what we call I think is a smart device so it's wearables, it's IoT? Yes, that's right. Wearables, IoT, um, uh, basically, yeah, everything. Well, we also call the ICT, the um, Information Communication Technology, the big data, all those is, you know, require all these smart devices.
work. Yes. And Mark, what do you think of the, the events in Berlin? How, how is it, how's it been for you? Oh yeah, the events was really nice here. Um, from the first day, we got a lot of inquiries. Um, everybody was uh, you know, looking into the STEM film and MEMS applications, and I truly think that you know, it's, it's an exciting you know, IoT world that's really coming, and everybody's um, you know, asking a lot of questions. Good. It was a very good exhibition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, really happy to, yeah. happy to have you here. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you very much.